Johnny Somali is being fined and will be banned from Japan, but not in a straightforward way. We're gonna get into that today on Go East, gentlemen. <music> Welcome to Go East, gentlemen, where we help gentlemen moving from west to east. And of course, I am Andrew Esquire, American attorney living over here in Asia. Now, the quest of Johnny Somali has been one that we've been following for quite a while. He is one of those nuisance live streamers, those folks that go around doing annoying things in various countries, trying to get in trouble, trying to cause a scene, trying to be extreme in order to get clicks and views, in order to uh, get more attention. They're people that go out and intentionally offend people uh, in order to get likes. They've been banned off of platforms like YouTube, Twitch. In fact, one of the only platforms that allows them is Kick because, well, it's a relatively new platform that doesn't really push back on its creators at all, even when they're doing things that are patently illegal. That said, Johnny Somali got in trouble for entering a construction site, amongst other things, such as causing a scene on a train, on a metro, as well as causing a scene at a restaurant. Now, he was put in jail. He was jailed in Osaka, and he'd been jailed for quite a while. And we'd all been waiting. What is going to happen to Johnny Somali? How long is he going to get in jail? What is he going to pay in terms of a fine? Is he going to get blacklisted? What will happen? Well, it turns out Johnny Somali actually was not uh, held on all charges or was not held to account on all charges. He was ultimately only fined for the restaurant incidents. Uh, charged for obstructing a business and he was fined 200,000 yen. Now, he was also initially charged regarding the construction site and trespassing, but those were not pursued. But, however, people ask the question, is he going to be banned? Is he going to be deported? Well, it seems like he will be asked to leave the country now, so they will bring him to the airport, get him out of the country. But is he banned? And well, it's complicated because, see, Japan actually does, isn't going to blacklist him directly. They're not going to say, okay, you cannot enter the country, Johnny Somali. But what he will be required to do is every time he comes to the country, he will have to disclose that he committed a criminal offense in Japan. And when you committed a criminal offense in Japan, you are soft banned for at least five years. So for at least five years, Johnny Somali will not be able to enter Japan because he has committed a criminal offense in Japan. He was arrested for a criminal offense in Japan. So it's not, it's very, in a way, perhaps Japanese. It's not a direct ban, but it's an indirect way of accomplishing that goal. So they're not saying, hey, you're blacklisted, which by the way, guys, that's the term for anyone that is prohibited from entering a country. Uh, Thailand, for example, the country where I happen to be right now, has a blacklist, bans people who overstay their visas for a long time. So if you stay in this country for 10 or 15 years, it's very likely you're going to end up on a blacklist and be permanently banned from Thailand because you have not gone and obtained a proper visa. This is something that countries are increasingly doing for problematic and or criminal folks. So I'm I, while I fully supported Johnny being blacklisted, being put on a ban list from Japan permanently, at least we see that he will get a soft five-year ban from Japan, which is a great resolution to the Johnny Somali case. What do you guys think about this? Is this justice? Did you expect more? Smash a like and let me know in the comments. Bye.